Good day folks, Photo Bob here. Hey, my air compressor, uh, it's a little long in the tooth. This air compressor is 20 years old, actually over 20 years old. I probably bought it around 2001 and uh, it's been a very good air compressor for me. Of course, I bought it when Sears was still around and uh, Craftsman was a uh, product that Sears sold. Um, so this is my pancake compressor and I got, it, it leaks air. It won't hold air well. And so one of the things I found out <clears throat> is that around this chuck where it slides back, air is leaking out of there. And so I bought some stuff on Amazon and we're going to go ahead and replace that tonight. So let's get to it. What um, we're going to do, we're going to remove this, but in order to remove this, I have to take this gauge off. And that gauge is a one half inch spanner. And we're just going to remove that. I actually cheated. I already had this loose and found out. And the reason I'm taking this off is because I have to hold this block. This is the uh, um, pressure regulator. And in order to remove this, I need to remove the pressure gauge so that I can <clears throat> so that I can use this adjustable wrench. That's the uh, half inch. Then I've got an 11 sixteenths here. And we're going to remove this, which I've already removed actually, but. I put that in there for the video. I bought a solid brass male adapter, male coupler adapter. When I bought this, I thought I didn't look at my compressor. And so I thought, well, I'll have, they had two of them in there. I thought, well, that'll just work for all my compressor. Well, no, it doesn't. You have to have a special coupler for your compressor but we're not going to put that on we're going to put this ball valve in and that will allow me to uh, turn off the air that's better can you see that you got that wrapped on there good Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this one on. And as I was trying to say earlier, this coupler has to have the male threads on the end. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, pressure valve in there that tells us what we're regulated to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order a new one because uh, well, this might not be, it looks like it's bent, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. I'm probably going to order a new one just to be careful, just to be safe. All right, I've got my new ball valve on here. I've got the new coupler, and I put the original uh, air pressure gauge back into the regulator. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and see how it works. Be back when the compressor's finished filling. All right, so in addition to fixing my older airlines, I got me a new air hose. Now this is a 25 foot, it's called a Flexzilla. The only drawback I can see about this for myself is it's gonna get dirty and it's gonna show the dirt, but it'll add character to it, right? That's what I'm telling myself. So we're gonna go ahead, plug it in, see how it works. 
Nice, solid. I don't hear any leaking around the connector, the coupler. I'm going to go ahead and attach my uh, air chuck, air blower. So I believe I can hear a slight leak, but it's nowhere like it used to be where I could hear it across the garage. Um, so the ball valve's working. Turn the ball valve on. Turn the ball valve off. Very good. So I like that. I think it's a success. We're going to wrap this up. You all know what to do. This is at the end of the uh, other video. This is a couple days later. If you go to Big A, you can find all these parts that I ordered from the ball valve to the um, uh, coupler and also now this. They also have these switches and I also saw regulators in there. So um, all fairly inexpensive and most people should be able to do this pretty easily. Going to remove the uh, removing the air pressure gauge. The other one here is um, bent. This one here is flat. This gauge has a one eighth NPT. It sits a little higher than the old one, but otherwise, I think it's the same. I'm going to let it go there. Now, the threads on that new one are a lot longer than the threads on the uh, old one. But I don't think that'll matter. All right, so I took it over, plugged it in. I got about 135 pounds of pressure in there. It is, it has dropped a little bit, so it's not holding steady, steady, but pretty good for a uh, 20 plus year old pancake compressor, in my opinion. Now it don't get used every day, but this is close up of, I put this on new, I added this, Replace the uh, air pressure gauge. And for those that don't know how this works, you turn this knob. So I uh, sprayed soapy water on this and uh, wasn't able to get a good grip. So there's a locking ring there. And as you can see, as I turn it out, the pressure on this um, airline drops and you can have a maximum of 135 pounds per square inch. It'll raise slowly. So it's over 100 pounds there. I really don't use it over 100 pounds, but there you can see it's going up. Six gallon compressor works well for most things around here. Uh, again, I did buy an inflator for my tires. Um, it's just a lot easier to use than pulling out the hose and putting it back. Let's wrap this up, friends. I wanna thank you all for stopping by today, helping me out with my compressor project, and uh, I'm gonna get on out of here. If this is something that you like, please do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And until the next time, friends, enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop. Record.